Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Megan with Simply Megan Plans and I am a happy planner fanatic. I absolutely love the happy planner and I'm completely obsessed and I have been for over five years now. So here on my YouTube channel, that's pretty much everything that I share. I just love to share all sorts of things that have to do with my happy planner and paper products and everything like that. So if you are interested in things like that, I would love to have you subscribed here on my channel and along for the ride because I share and upload a video every single day. I have lots of things to share. So in this video, I'm going to be setting up my new faith journal. So I just received my fall release um, huge haul from the happy planner release and now i was just getting ready to set up i was just in the works i started unboxing or not unboxing but unwrapping all of my faith products and i thought why don't i just pop on my video to share this with you guys so this i want to share first is my faith journal right now like currently and i'm getting ready to change it into all the things that I just got. So they're literally right there. <laughs> you cannot see them though. So um, this is what I've been using. So I change my covers a lot. So I literally just put my soft cover on maybe four days ago or something like that. So I keep a little bit of half sheets in here, although I really haven't been using that um, very much. So I might not keep that in there, but I put a lot of just filler paper in here and I also just got the guided, the faith guided journals. So I popped one of those sections in here, but the rest is literally just filler paper. So I think what I'm going to do is take a few of these elements out and then the rest of it, it'll just go back to, you know, where it was before, but this is what I'm going to use right now. Okay. So this is a happy notes. It's from the faith line. I absolutely love this front cover. I love this baby blue. I love these. Um, it kind of is like sand, but it's also like glitter. I don't know, but there's no texture to it, which is what I really like. And the light blue discs are absolutely gorgeous. It came from the Marble Faith line and I just love these dividers. I feel like they are just stunning. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them set up and just talk through it, okay? So, okay, let me, I'm gonna take everything out of this first. So might keep some of that. And then this is what I have written on so far. And I don't need this um, bookmark because now I have a new bookmark. So I'll take that away. I definitely want to keep my guided journal a little section in here. So the whole guided journal is like it's pretty much like a full planner, but I like to keep all of my faith stuff together. Okay, and then the rest of this is just paper. So let me see where I can put this. I have so much filler paper and I love to make different journals and stuff. So, um, you know, it doesn't go to waste or anything. I just kind of like move things around a lot and I just, I have so much fun messing around with stuff. So let me just figure out, um, Let me see what if I I just got this in my haul so maybe I can move stuff around okay this last section is where I'm gonna put it and then these I will just kind of like distribute into the other sections To be honest, I really don't keep the happy notes like together. I really like to take everything apart, 
but since I literally just opened this, I might keep it. I might keep it as is, except, you know, obviously the changes that I'm making right now. So just kind of moving some paper around. I'll put this, because this is pretty plain paper. So I think that they complement each other pretty well. And who knows, maybe I will come up with an idea of how to use this happy notes instead of separating it like I normally do. But we will see. But just for right now, I feel like I wanna have them separate. I mean, I, you know, I wanna separate all of this stuff out. That's what I meant. Okay, so there is that, just lots of paper. <laughs> okay, so that's kind of just sitting up here on my shelf. And then gotta take all of these discs out. And then this is the regular covers. So I actually have this that I keep tons of covers in. And I also keep my folders there kind of lodged in the middle. But to be honest, I feel like this kind of needs to be on expander disc because it's getting really chunky. So for right now, I'm gonna keep this soft deluxe cover um, or snapping cover rather. I'm gonna keep it separate because it's one of my newer items, so I'm probably gonna find a use for it in, you know, if not today, then maybe tomorrow. <laughs> um, I got this recently at Target and I really, really like it. This is glass and then the, the cover or the lid is plastic and they're stackable. So I keep all of my minis separate from my classics and the big as well. All right. Let's see what I want to do. To be honest, mm, no, I'll keep it. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, hold on. I got this access, these planner accessories. So I'm going to open this and put it all in here. This is gonna be my new divider, which I'm really excited about. And it also has this paper. Some sticky notes. A little bit of stickers. All right. So let's think about this. Maybe the folder at the front. This is so much fun setting stuff up. So folder up at the front and then maybe I'll keep my sticky notes in here. I'll keep them separate because I have some other random little ones that I'm keeping over here right above me because I really like those three little ones. <laughs> so I'm keeping those separate. But I have a whole, I think I have a video. I might, I'll try to link it below where I show my um, sticky note collection, where I, how I store them and stuff. I think I'm gonna keep this up at the front. So there's that. And then right here, I'll keep this paper. It's a lot though, so I might pull some out later. Maybe if it's too chunky. Let me see. So if I close this whole thing. Yeah, this is pretty chunky. And I don't necessarily have to have all of this paper. I just think it's pretty satisfying to, like I, I 
in my mind, I would like to keep all of my faith paper separate because really where I want to use my faith stuff is only in my faith stuff. You know what I mean? Okay. Then I'll put this in. Okay. So honestly, I have so much paper. I don't think I'm going to put these in here, to be honest. I'm going to keep these separate. So these are just my, oh, but I do have this though. Mm, I don't know. Um, anyways, okay. So there's that. Then also here at the front, I'm going to keep this little sheet of faith stickers and I can go ahead and pull that out. And then here's my divider so I can go into where I start. And the plastic is still on it, but I'm really weird. I keep the film on like everything. I still have the film on our coffee maker. I still have it on our refrigerator. I, um, we purchased a car in 2015 and I still have the film on top of the light on the ceiling. I'm like so funny about pulling the film off of stuff. Okay. So anyways, there is that. Okay. So all of that is together. I also got these two bands. So I was thinking putting this on top of it. I could put it that way or I could put it this way, which is a little bit looser. Let's see. Okay. Then I got these two little five sticker sheet. Keep my faith stuff in my zipper pouch. And then here's my pen. I use a really plain pen in my faith stuff. Okay. So there's that. So realistically, I could just pop all of this in here and be good to go. It just feels a tiny bit chunkier than I would like because I have two faith sticker books that I like that I ideally would really like to keep in here. I just don't really want it to be this chunky, so that's why I probably will pull some paper out. Right now, I think I'm gonna keep it though. I'm gonna keep it like this. Anyways, here's my other um, pen holder, and I was thinking of putting it on my Bible. So I really like my Bible. I'm gonna try to find the link for you guys because I always have people that ask, but um, it has a zipper on the cover. Like this is the Bible. It came like this. It's not a, um, a cover or anything. Like it's not a pouch. Like the cover legitimately has a zipper on it. And when I saw it years ago, I think, yeah, I maybe got it two or three years ago. Let me see. Did I put the date? No. Um, I think I got it online. I got it on Amazon or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll try and find the link for you guys. But I want to keep the pen holder on the Bible. So maybe I can put... Oh, let me look really quick. Okay, so in my little highlighter container. These are my little UB highlighters. They're like super small and fun. I have my, look at all this hair. Oh my gosh. That's so embarrassing. I have my Bible safe gel highlighters. And the other night I couldn't sleep and I thought about it. You know how your mind is just like racing. I thought about why don't I keep those in my faith pouch. So 
Now everything is all together and I feel like this is a way to like a much more efficient way to keep everything together and make sure everything is being used and everything is all at my fingertips. So when I go to do my Bible study, I can take everything together just like that. So now everything is all done and it makes me really want to get started in a brand new Bible study. Like I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Um, also last time I posted about my faith journal, I had someone actually, I think I had two or three comments about what Bible studies I do. I honestly, I exclusively use the Bible app, which is a free app on your phone and you can go into plans. It's like a little category down at the bottom and you can literally just type in any word that you are interested in studying. Like I want to do a marriage study with my husband. So like, you know, I don't know, I don't know a title of a marriage study, but anything about marriage you can find. And then once you hit search, it comes up with hundreds of marriage studies, or you can type in forgiveness and lots of forgiveness studies. So some of them you can read, some of them um, they read to you, some of them have videos. It's just, I love to use the Bible app. Number one, it's free. Number one, number two, it's on your phone. So I feel like it's just the most um, reasonable thing to do. And I'm just not a book reader. So besides my Bible, I'm just not a book reader. So I'm not going to go and buy books because it, in the past, they just sit there on the shelf. So anyways, I wanted to make sure I um, included that in this video because someone always asks. But anyways, now this is all done. Um, let me know if you have any questions below. But in the meantime, please like, subscribe, and comment for more. Bye, guys.